Hey y'all, let's take a look at linear inequalities. And this is a weird lesson title, but it's a piece of cake. You'll enjoy this. This will be one of those quick ones you graph and get out of there and one of the ones that you saw very quickly. Okay, well, let's first do this just kind of as a practice. Let's graph um, y equals 2x minus 5. You know what that is. You immediately can go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's your y-intercept. The slope is 2, so 2 over 1, 2 up. And it's positive too, so you go up and over like this, and then you know it looks like that. Minus. Okay, and that's your line. Okay, well let's do this. That's an that's an equation. How about an inequality? Y is greater than two x minus five. Okay, that looks kind of weird. Well, if you're saying it's equal to that, it's the line itself. But if you're saying it's greater than that then what you're actually saying is that it's everything on top of that. So we don't include the line itself. So what we, we would do, it's just kind of like an open circle thing when you're doing those graphs on the number line, you know, you don't include it. This would be greater than, so it's just basically, you would kind of like shade, just do it really basically, don't take you know, an hour to shade it. There you go. All right, how about this one? If it's y is less than that, then you will not be surprised to learn that it will not be up, whoa, it won't be here. It will, of course, be below here on the bottom side, right? That's going to be y equals, uh, y is less than 2x minus 5, okay? If y is greater than or equal to, well, you would include the line itself, right? Since it's equal to the line. So you would, you know, not have a dashed line. You'd actually have the actual line itself. And then everything above that, and that's going to be greater than or equal to. Okay, and of course the last one will be less than or equal to, which would not include this part, but it would include the line and everything underneath it. Boom, there you go. Okay, what they'll do is they will give you uh, something like this. And go ahead and pause if you need to, to to write this down. Okay, they say graph the solution to this. Y is this and you know, less than, and that's also greater than or equal to. Now, this is like one of those, uh, um, like a system of equations, where you're trying to find the value for the x and y. You know, if this, if this were just equal signs, you'd find that value to x and y, um, uh, excuse me, if they were two lines, you'd, you'd draw two lines and you'd go, oh, where those lines cross, oh, it crosses at x equals 4 and y equals negative 2, and that would be your answer, all right? Same thing here. You're going to graph these, where they overlap, that's your answer. And your answer is going to be a drawing. And you'll look in the back of your book and the, the solutions manual is going to be a drawing as well. So it doesn't have to be perfect, but you kind of need to know, okay, it goes between here to here. Okay. All right, let's do this one first. And I'll make these in different colors so you can kind of see them better. So y is less than a half x plus 2. Well, you, you know how to draw that. So half x plus 2. So there it is. There's your plus 2. And it's going to be less than, so you need to draw that dashed line. The uh, slope is half, so up one over two, up one over two, up one over two, and so on. It looks like that. All right? So you, you, you use a dashed line this time because you're not going to include that line because it's only less than. So it's everything down here. That's the solution to that. All right? The second one, which I'll use green here so you can see it better, y is greater than or equal to, so it will include something. So that is going to be negative 3 is your y-intercept. So 1, 2, 3, that is it. And your slope is negative 1 over 1. So it's going to go, you know, up 1 over 1, up 1 over 1, up 1 over 1, and so on. All right? So you will actually include this line itself. So it'll be a filled in, you know, a solid line because it's equal to right here. All right, and it'll also be, this is gonna be greater than or equal to. So, you know, forget that right now, except for just going like this, okay? And you can see that the actual uh, overlap with these two is right here. So your actual solution is gonna be right there. And that's it, just circle that and just kind of, you know, show that that's the overlap, all right? Pause it if you need to. And let's go ahead and graph this second one here. All right, well, let's go ahead and take a look. And we'll do red and green again. 
and uh, we'll start off with the first one. Y is greater than x minus 2. Well, there's our minus 2. And it's going to be greater than that. So, of course, the slope will be 1. So it'll be like this. Boom, boom. And, uh, you know, we'll go ahead and just use dotted line there. Okay, and it's greater than, so it's everything up here. All right. Second one is going to be uh, y is le uh, less than or equal to, so it'll be a solid line, x plus 1. So it looks here. The plus 1 is your y-intercept, so it's less than that. So the solution, I mean, excuse me, the slope is also 1, so it's 1 up and 1 over. 1 up and 1 over and so on. Now you notice that both of these have the same slope, which means they're going to be parallel. So it does include the line itself, which means you'll put it solid, but it's everything less than that. So you everything less than that here. And of course you notice that where these two shaded areas overlap is right here. It's like between there and there. So you can just kind of circle that and do the best you can. That's your solution, okay? All right. Wasn't too hard, was it? Okay, try these two, pause it, and uh, we'll come together in a second and uh, take a look at it. All right, well, let's look at the first one here. The first one, let's go purple. Greater than or equal to negative x minus 2. So here we go. That's your negative 2. And your negative x, that's going to be a negative 1. So it looks like this, and it's uh, it does equal, so it looks kind of like that. Not going to be perfect here. That looks like that. It's a solid line. And it is greater than, so everything on this side, it includes. All right, and the second one, let's go with, uh, I don't know, this blue here. Less than or equal to a third x minus two. Oh, so it's the same uh, y-intercept. Okay, so it's right there, it's the same thing right there. And less than or equal to, it's a third x, so one, and then over. All right, and then one up and one over, one up and one over, and so on. So it will include the actual line itself because it is the equal, and it's going to be less than that. So it's going to be everything from here to there. And of course, you can see that the actual overlap is this chunk. Whoa, did I just choose white? Don't want to do that. Okay, the overlap is this chunk right here, right where, they, where those two colors overlap. And there's your solution. All right, pause it and try the second. All right, since it is close to Christmas time, we'll go ahead and use red and green again. It's only six or eight months away. I can't keep count anyway. Okay, so greater than x minus 3. So minus 3 is here. The slope is 1. So we go dot, 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 and dot. It's not perfect, but good enough. And by the way, make these fast. These can be easy ones for you to solve. Okay, the second one is going to be less than or equal to, so it will be a solid line, so plus 3, so uh, it'll be 1, 2, 3, okay? Well, okay, so greater than, oh, excuse me, I forgot to do the colored in part here. So the first one's greater than that, so it'll be everything up here. All right, and the second one will be less than or equal to that, and it's going to be the same slope. So it looks like that, and it does include it, so we do that. So it's everything less than, you know, like that. And, of course, you, I'm sure, notice that the actual overlap is between here and here. And there you go. Okay, that's it. All right, see you guys next time.